All right, guys, today we are going to do the uh, fuel lines and primer bulb on a Craftsman uh, Weed Whacker Credipole. There's the model number on it. It's uh, 316.711023. I'll put all the parts in the description. Um, I'll even give you the kit that's got the carburetor. It's super cheap. Sometimes it's just easier to do the carburetor like I'm not even going to guarantee that this will run when I do the primer ball on fuel lines Because you know the primer balls all dry rotted out and uh, Inside the carburetor is diaphragms that are made of the same material neoprene They could be bad as well hard or cracked um, I don't know sometimes it works. So it's a 50 50 chance So I'll put the kit with the carb everything in there super cheap um and I use them all the time, they work. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is pull off this air filter cover. Now we have two, you know what? We don't have to pull this off. Actually, we just got that off, it's out of the way. We're going to uh, remove the fuel lines. Uh, first, let's go ahead and drain the gas out of this. Let's pop this open, get all the old gas out of there. You want to start with fresh, brand new gas when you when you do this. Uh, you may not know what yours are. Um, the nipple on the outside is the return line, no filter to it. The one on the inside, the furthest away from the primer ball, is the one that gets the uh, fuel filter. Phillips head screwdriver. We're going to take these two screws out. We're going to be careful not to let this this piece right here. You know, it's this whole section right here come out. We only want this metal plate and this primer ball off. If it does come off, it's not a big deal. Just make sure that the gaskets are on there. Make sure everything's clean, you know. Um, and just set it back in place. Um, it'll have two little nipples that'll, there they are. They'll kind of hold it in place. Oh, it's not wanting to stay. Just make sure you don't get any dirt on this. It doesn't want to stay in place. So we'll just make sure you don't get any dirt on the, this is the fuel pump diaphragm. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take the old primer ball out, new primer bulb in. We're gonna put the screws back through this. Where'd the other screw go? craziest stuff I literally did not even get up from my chair and one of the screws disappeared it's just oh there it is ah jeez all right so we're gonna put these in there um, and then we're gonna work them into this as well that plate will go on this like that the flat the flat side up here then we're gonna line it all up onto the carburetor like that, and then get the uh, screws or the bolts tightened down. Cut the line into a point. We're going to go into the back hole. We're going to get it pushed in, and uh, I find it's easier. I use a bent over pair of needle nose to grab it from the inside and pull it. We want it to come out of the gas tank. But if you have to, you just slowly shove it in with your needle nose, like grab it up here and then work it down. It takes two hands, you gotta hold it. And you just, very little, little gaps, grab it, shove it down a little at a time until you can actually grab it with a pair of needle nose pliers. So sometimes I'll even cut the line, you know, half the line off further up so that I can get it down in further into the tank to grab with a needle nose. Sometimes that's what you gotta do as well. Cut further up, you can actually reach in there with straight needle nose and just grab it that way. Pull it out a few inches from the gas tank, cut the tip off, tap the new filter on it. Filter into the gas tank, shove it all the way down in, make sure it's sitting right in on the bottom like so. And this goes to the suction, which is the back line here. So you'll line it up to the carburetor, cut it to length, and then stab it on the back, the furthest away from the primer ball nipple. 
just like so. Now if you cut it too short, you can always pull up just a little bit. You see where I pulled up a little bit on this? Just to make sure that you don't have to go too far where the filter can still sit in the bottom. Now we're going to cut this line into a point again. I mean, you only have to just pull it down into the gas tank, you know, about an inch or so. And then um, cut it to length one more time. Dab that fuel line on the outs, the one, the line closest, the nipple closest to the primer ball. That's your return line. Of course, up in there with the nose. Also, if the line is too long, you can always grab line and pull it in. So you got a nice clean setup going on. All right, now we're going to go ahead and put some fuel in here and see if it primes. Got some gas in there. I'm going to try to prime it up. And it primed. That's a good sign. All right, if it's not priming, if you look in here and you're pushed to primer ball and you see foam coming out of your filter, you've got these lines backwards, flip them around. And of course, this one doesn't run. I've tried it. Uh, it needs a new carburetor. That's what it is. But you know how to put your fuel lines in, primer ball in. Now you're going to put your air filter cover back on. Easy peasy. Now if you got to do the carburetor too, like on this one, you would obviously take those two bolts out. Those are Torque 25 or flatheads. You would take the carb off. Make sure you have, still have the gasket between this and this. Um, some of them, I think this one's a yellow O-ring. Just make sure it's still in place. Don't take it out. This will come right off the throttle. You just hold the, you know, it's just an S-turn. It just stabs in there and leans over. It's not a big deal. Just, just twist and pop up. And it's out. And then you put the new carburetor on. I highly suggest you do it anyways. Um, the whole kit is about the same as the primer ball fuel line kit. Anyways, it's, I mean, only a few dollars more, I suggest you do it. Um, I just have a bunch of fuel line and primer balls and stuff in my shop. So I always try to do this just to knock it out and get it done fast for the customer. Um, I don't charge much more for just putting a carburetor on anyways. Um, yeah. So anyways, uh... Hope this helped you out. If it did, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Um, if you want to be uh, an advertiser or a sponsor on my channel, send me some t-shirts and some cool stuff, and we'll put you up on our channel. Message me. Peace.